And hi there, and welcome back to another educational video from Wondershare Dr. Phone. I am Francisco, and today's video is about how to transfer data from Android to Android. So since Android devices are the most used smartphones in the world, transferring data from Android to Android is something that you should know. There are many ways to do it, and we will go through the easiest five methods in this video. But before talking about transferring files from Android to Android app, we've got some exciting news for you. Dr. Phone is starting a brand new campaign, Your Phone, Your Way, where you can win amazing prizes. You can easily become a part of this campaign by following Dr. Phone on Instagram through at Wondershare underscore Dr. Phone, sharing this reel to your Instagram story and telling us about the smartphone problem you commonly face in the comments. So the campaign will provide exciting rewards to the lucky participant with prizes like AirPods for the first prize, $50 for five prizes, and a one month free license of Dr. Phone for 10 prizes. The winners will be chosen at random from the comments and the campaign will end on May 30th. Lastly, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Now let's dive right in. Part one, transfer files between Android via Bluetooth. So we will start with Bluetooth, an ever present and reliable way to transfer files from Android to Android. It is going to be part of all Android devices and is a great option when you need to transfer a couple of files. However, slow speed and limited range make it an unrealistic option for transferring a large amount of data. Here is how to transfer files from Android to Android via Bluetooth. First, enable Bluetooth on both Android devices and navigate to the targeted files on the source Android device. Now, do select the files, tap the share icon and choose Bluetooth as the option. Next, just select the targeted Android device from the available options or devices to send the files. Now on the destination device, press accept to receive the files from there. Part two, transfer files from Android to Android by nearby share. The next transfer method we will go through is to use nearby share. It is developed by Google and is available on all Android devices. It is a bit faster method than Bluetooth and can transfer large files without interruptions. However, transferring a large amount of data through it is still going to be a hectic task. So use the following steps to transfer files via nearby share on Android devices. First, you will need to enable nearby share on both Android devices. It can be done through Google settings in your Android settings. So in the Google settings, tap devices and share to select nearby share and then toggle it on. After enabling nearby share and setting device visibility to everyone, move to the files that you want to share on the source Android device. Here, just select the files, tap share, and choose a nearby share as a sharing option. Then select the targeted Android device from the available device to send the files. A prompt will appear on both phones with a matching pin. Accept the files on the targeted Android device to start the transfer process. Part 3. Transfer files between Android by USB cable. So both Bluetooth and nearby share aren't really well suited to transfer files between Android devices when you need to transfer tens of gigabytes of data, for example. So one way that you can do this is to use the computer by connecting your Android phone to it using a USB cable. Windows supports file transfer for Android devices using only a USB cable. So follow these steps to transfer files from Android to Android using USB cable. Step one is going to be to transfer files via USB cable. You first need to connect the source Android device to your computer. After giving your computer access to your phone by selecting file transfer slash Android auto on the device, copy all of the targeted data from the device to a folder in the computer. Afterward, disconnect the source Android and connect the targeted Android device that grants your computer access to your phone. Now move the copied data from the source device to the targeted device storage to complete the transfer process. Part 4. Sync files from Android to Android with Google account. So if the reason that you need to transfer files from Android to Android app is, for example, if you're switching devices, you can just use the Google account to transfer data. You can back up data on the old Android device and later restore it to the new Android device. Here is how you can transfer data from Android to Android using your Google account. First, launch settings on your old Android phone and then tap Google. Here, navigate to backup and then press backup now to backup your phone data to your Google account. 
you can start setting up the new Android device when the backup is finally complete. During the new Android device setup, you will be asked if you want to restore an old backup after signing in using your Google account. Then select Restore from Google Backup to restore the backup from the old phone. Part 5. The fastest way to transfer files from Android to Android with Dr. Phone. When looking for the best and fastest way to transfer files between Android devices, you should go for a specialized transfer tool. The best and quickest Android data transfer tool currently available is Wondershare Dr. Phone. With it, you can transfer over 15 types of data from one Android device to another in a few minutes. Moreover, it doesn't overwrite or delete the data already existing on the new devices unless you want it to do so. Dr. Phone also provides a very straightforward and easy to follow transfer process for data transfer between Android devices. It can quickly transfer data between 8,000 plus Android devices, including the latest ones. Here is how to transfer data from Android to Android. Launch Wondershare Dr. Phone on your computer and then select Toolbox from the left panel. Now connect both your Android devices to the computer and select Phone Transfer from the Toolbox. Dr. Phone will now assign one device to the source position and the other to the target position. If the assigned positions are wrong, use Flip to change them. Afterward, select the data you want to transfer between Android devices. After selecting the desired data, tap Start Transfer to initiate the transfer process. It will take a few seconds to complete the process, depending on the data size. And with that, today's discussion has reached its end. So thank you so much for watching this video, and hopefully you were able to learn how to transfer data from Android to Android. So let us know about your thoughts in the comments, and show your appreciation by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon if you haven't done so already to receive future updates. Finally, do make sure to take part in the new campaign so that you can win some amazing prizes. Now, until next time, have a good one.